Hey, I'm Helen with Floating Yoga School. This class is a 45 minutes flow focused on yoga for sciatica. And your sciatic nerve is a nerve that runs from your low back through your hips, pelvis, down your leg. And some people have pain in their sciatic nerve, which can be caused by muscular tightness, which this class is gonna be fantastic for. However, it could also be caused by disc issues or nerve issues. And if that's the case for you, this is probably not the right class. And I would definitely recommend checking with your healthcare provider before you start this either way, if you're experiencing sciatica or sciatic nerve pain, just to make sure you have clearance to practice. So we're gonna work on focusing, we're gonna focus on opening up the low back, hips, pelvis, hamstrings. And we will use two blocks. So if you have them handy, make sure they're near the top of your mat. And if you don't, grab something sturdy to place your hands on a water bottle, a book, um, a low stool, a low chair, or remember to bend your knees a lot as we're moving into forward folds. So we're gonna find our way to the top of our mat and get started. And once you've found your standing position, feet can be together or hip distance apart. Hands by your sides, palms facing forward, or if you prefer, hands together in front of your heart. Close your eyes. Give yourself a moment to rock a little bit forward and back and side to side. Find that sweet spot between your feet, between your toes and your heels. And start to get grounded and rooted, connected to the earth. Begin to check in with your physical body. Notice how you're feeling. Check in with your mind, notice any thoughts. And if you haven't yet, start to deepen your breath. And turn on your strong, full ujjayi breath in and out through your nose. Make it sound like the ocean or as if you're fogging up a mirror but with your lips sealed. So there's a ha sensation, a warm breath. And then begin to send additional attention, energy, breath to your low back, to your hips, to your glutes, to your hamstrings, your entire legs. One more round of breath here. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Twice more like that. Inhale, reach up, gather up energy. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more, breathe in, reach to the sky. Breathe out, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, fold forward, feel free to bend your knees, move with a flat back. So your spine moves in one piece all the way down and then spread your feet out at least hip distance, if not wider. We'll find a rag doll, knees really bent. You can hold opposite elbows and allow a little sway, a little bit of movement here. You can exaggerate it. It feels better to dangle your hands, your arms, feel free to do that. Let gravity do the work. Feel that movement, a little flow. Two more rounds of breath. Release your hands. Hands to shins, lift halfway, breathe in. Reach the crown of your head forward, tailbone back. Knees can still be bent, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, fold, relax your head and neck down. Twice more like that. Inhale, lift halfway, long spine. Exhale, fold. Last one, breathe in, lengthen, breathe out, fold. Step your right foot back and then your left. High plank, upper push up. You're always welcome to drop your knees for more of a supported plank. Take a breath in, little shift forward and exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Three baby cobras, hands stay by your side, elbows point up and back. As you inhale, peel your chest off the ground. Doesn't have to be high. As you exhale, lower down. And see if you can use the muscles around your spine, your low back muscles to lift you up 
Really press into the tops of your feet and your toenails. Lower down. One more big breath in, lift. Exhale, release. Child's pose, press yourself back, hips to heels, knees can be wider together. Relax your forehead to the ground, breathe into your low back. One more round of breath right here. Inhale to tabletop. Stack your shoulders above your wrists, hips right above your knees. Take your exhale here. Next inhale, cow pose. Lift your tailbone, drop your belly, reach your heart forward, find some space through your spine. Exhale, cat, press the ground away, scoop round, chin toward chest. Twice more like that, inhale to cow, lengthen, tailbone up, reach your heart forward. Exhale, scoop round, press the ground away. One more, breathe in, cow. Breathe out to cat. Neutral spine as you inhale, knees together as you exhale. Extend your right leg straight back behind you like you're stamping it into an imaginary wall. Breathe in. Exhale, cross your foot over to the left. So off your mat, toes down, press back through your heel and then peek over your right shoulder. Breathe some space, especially into your right hip and glutes. See if you can draw your hip back. Come back to center. Tuck your left toes under, bring your right foot to the back of your mat or lift it. And then find your way to a three-legged dog. We'll take one leg to the sky. Doesn't matter which one you lift, just make sure you remember for next time. Open up that hip, bend your knee. Some circles with your knee. You can roll out your ankle. Whatever leg is lifted, extend it long. Big breath in. Exhale, little step forward. And then continue little steps to the top of your mat. Keep your knees really bent so you've got some space and find your way to a forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Rise to standing arms, high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back first, then your right, high plank, upper push-up. Remember, you can always lower your knees down. Little shift forward as you breathe in. Lower to your belly as you exhale. Elbows, hug your sides. Two cobras this time, inhale, lift your heart. Hug your shoulder blades together. Exhale, release down. Once more, breathe in. And breathe it out. Child's pose, hips to heels, knees wider together. Press yourself back, relax everything down, let it all go. Inhale to tabletop. Use your exhale to find your alignment, stack shoulders and hips. Inhale to cow pose, lift your tailbone, drop your belly, heart forward, finding some movement through your spine. Exhale to cat, scoop round, press the ground away. See how much you can hollow out. Breathe in, cow pose. Lengthen your spine, breathe out, cat pose. Last one. Back to neutral, inhale. Knees together to touch as you exhale. This time left leg straight back behind you, press through your heel, breathe in, cross it over to your right, off your mat as you breathe out, and then a little peek over your right shoulder. Draw your left hip back, breathe into your left side body. You can find stillness, you can always find a little bit of movement here, a gentle rock forward and back. Back to your extension, breathe in. Tuck your right toes under. So you can either lift up and back, left leg to the sky if you did right last time, or I'm tucking my left toes down, taking my right leg up and back. Whichever leg you didn't lift last time, lift it up, open up your hip, create movement, circle your knee, roll your ankle, 
Breathe into your hip joint, your entire leg space. Extend your leg long, big breath in. Exhale, little step forward, and then give yourself a walk to the top of your mat. Keep your knees really bent, be gentle, and find your way to your forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, release it down. Rise up, reach up, hands to the sky, deep breath in. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. And take a moment here to adjust what you need, your clothing, your stance, your breath. I always have to do a little wiggle, reset. Come back to your breath. Next inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. So your feet can be together or hip distance apart, sit low. And then see if you can really root down into your heels. Turn on the back of your legs. You're gonna activate hamstrings and glutes. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Take your right ankle on top of your left thigh for a figure four. So if you'd like a little bit more of a balance, you can always place hands in front of you onto a wall or onto a block. Flex your toes if it feels good. You can bring your left hand to the sole of your foot, right hand to your thigh. You can always lean more forward. Really breathe into your hips. Two more full rounds of breath here. Stay rooted through your standing leg and keep breathing space into where you need it. One more inhale. Our release is a crossed ankle forward fold. So right ankle slides on your left leg, hands release down to the ground or if you've got blocks handy to your block. Feel free to bend your knees, relax your head and neck. Nod gently yes and shake your head out no. Walk your hands or your blocks to the right. Let your hips lean a little bit to your left. Make sure you're still breathing. Over to the other side. Hands or blocks left, hips a little bit right. And then back to center. Feel free to bend your knees, feel free to bring your hands forward. You're gonna take your weight into your right foot. So the foot that's crossed on top, lean a little forward, lift your left leg to the sky. So you're in a standing splits or like a supported warrior three. Send some breath into the back of your right leg. Feel the stretch. One more big inhale. Exhale, step your lifted leg all the way back. Left leg back, right knee is bent, lower your right leg, left knee, pardon me, to the ground. Both arms to the sky. And then let yourself melt a little bit forward. Breathe into your hips, draw left hip forward, right back, engage your low belly, relax your shoulders. Keep breathing here. One more big inhale. Exhale, left hands to the ground, find a twist, right arm to the sky. And try to draw your shoulders away from your ears. You can stay like this. You can reach your right hand back. You can always find your left foot with your right hand for a little quad stretch. Work more into the front of your hip. One more breath in. Exhale, release your hand down. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog, breathe in. Open up your hip, bend your knee. Again, take your movement, or if you wanna flip for a wild thing, right foot can fall off your mat. Press through your foot, lift your hips, reach your right arm forward, big stretch. When you're ready, we'll meet in a downward facing dog, feet together or hip distance. And either stay, or as you inhale, shift forward, high plank, upper push up. Exhale all the way to your belly again. This time we'll take locust pose, hands by your sides or interlaced at your low back. Reach your fingertips back to lift your chest and if it's okay in your low back, lift your legs. Keep breathing here, long neck, long spine. One more breath in. Exhale, release it down. Child's pose, hips to heels. Knees can always be together, especially if you felt your low back on that. Give yourself a moment to release. Inhale to tabletop, exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step or hop to your hands, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. 
folds, breathe out. Rise to standing arms, high, big inhale. Use your exhale to draw your palms together in front of your heart and then take your moments to adjust, to reset, to recenter, re-arrive. Next inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Press through your feet, all four corners. Make sure you can see your toes and that you can wiggle your toes. You're not gripping with your toes. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and bring your palms together in front of your heart. Keep your chest open, your spine long and neutral. Shift your weight to your left foot, right, your right foot, pardon me, left foot comes up for your figure four. And then same options as before, right hand can come to your foot, left hand to your thigh. You can lean more forward or fold over your leg. Try to take deep, full breaths into wherever you're feeling this, finding sensation and meeting it with your breath. We'll take one more inhale. Exhale, cross ankle forward fold, left foot slides down your right, hands to the ground, to your blocks. Knees can bend a lot. Nod your head yes, breathe in. Shake your head no, breathe out. And then with your blocks or without them, walk your hands over to your left, lean your hips a little bit to your right. Pass through center, take it to the other side. Back to center, you can keep hands on blocks or ditch them. Lean your weight a little bit forward, weight into your left toes, the foot that's on top, right leg to the sky for a standing splits. Send breath into the back of your left leg, feel it, I like to touch it, notice where I'm feeling sensation. Maybe chin to chest to go a little further, not forcing the stretch, but really feeling where you've got space. Big breath in. Exhale, right foot steps to the back of your mat. Lower your right knee down. So you're in a supported lunge, both arms to the sky, this like modified crescent shape, and then allow your hips to sink without collapsing into your pelvic floor. So stay engaged through your pelvic floor, through your low belly, and relax your shoulders. One more big breath in. Exhale, right hand to the ground, left arm to the sky for your twist. And feel free to find the variation you did on the other side. Hand reaches back, find your back foot. You can always lift your back knee as well. Use your breath in to find length and your breath out to go a little deeper into your twist, whatever that means for you today. Every day is different. Big inhale, exhale, release your hand down. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, front leg reaches up and back, three-legged dog. Open up your hip, bend your knee. Allow yourself to stay, add your movement, ankle circles, knee circles, or if you flipped on the other side, wild thing, left foot behind you. Left arm reaches forward for a big stretch, lift of your hips. Your way, your time, back to downward facing dog. You can always meet us in a child's pose or stay here. Otherwise, as you inhale, shift forward, high plank. Once more, all the way to your belly, exhale, lower it down. Locust pose, hands point back, palms flat or hands interlaced, awkward thumb on top. Reach your hands back to lift your chest. If it's okay on your low back, lift your legs. Chin, is stay, chin stays a little tucked so the top of your head reaches forward. And then try to lift your belly button off the ground. Find that core engagement to support your low back. Another breath in. Exhale, release down, child's pose, hips to heels, knees can be wide or together, hands can be in front, in a little prayer shark fin around your legs. Choose what feels best in this moment right now.
Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step or hop to your hands, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, release your head and neck. Rise up, reach up, hands high, big breath in. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. So we're gonna add on a little bit to that flow. As you inhale, chair pose, sit deep. This time, exhale to eagle, right arm below your left. Hands can hold opposite shoulders, palms can connect if that reaches. Right thigh up and over your left. And my toes are tapping down today for support. You can always wrap your toes behind if that feels better. And if it feels good to take just the arms or just the legs, that's fantastic as well. Try to sit a little deeper and draw your right hip slightly back. Breathe here for three rounds. One more. Take just your inhale. Exhale to your crossed ankle forward fold. Right foot slides down your left. Release your hands. Fold over your legs. Like we did before, nod your head yes. Breathe in. Exhale, shake your head no. Walk your hands to your right. Maybe you take your blocks with you. Lean your hips a little bit left. Back through center and to the other side. Hands left, hips a little bit right. Come back to center. Shift your weight a little bit forward. You're gonna bring weight into your right foot again, the foot that's crossed on top. Left foot to the sky. So standing splits with your right foot down. And then you're gonna be, begin to peel open for half moon. If you've got a block, it might be handy to place it below your hand. Otherwise, fingertips can hover or touch the ground. Open up your left shoulder, your left hip. Activate your left toes and foot so they're strong. Try to stay long through your right side body. Whoops, totally cool if you fall. I do all the time, clearly. Breathe here. One more big breath in. As you exhale, you're going to release your left hand down and step your left foot back. And we're going to take it to a prostrate to turn to the side. Toes in, heels out for a wide-legged forward fold. Adjust as you need. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, fold over your legs. You've got a few rounds of breath here to explore stillness, movement, maybe bend your knees, maybe shift side to side. Next inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, Skandasana to your right. So a low kind of sideways lunge. Right toes turn out, right knee bends. You move as low into your hips as your inner thighs, hips, groin allow. And your bottom heel might lift. You might be a little bit more upright. You can take lots of different arm variations. You've got two more rounds of breath. And then slowly turn back to the top of your mat for lizard pose. Right foot shimmies out to the right. Hands inside your foot. Option to stay more upright, a little bit of movement if you like. Option to drop your back knee. Option to lower your forearms to the ground, to a block or two. And we'll take five breaths. You've got some time to explore a little bit of depth here. A twist might be nice as well. Right hand reaches back for your left foot. Make sure you're breathing, whatever you choose, that's the most important. And pay attention to where you feel stuff, where sensation is happening, where you can offer more space, more breath. Two more rounds. Come back onto your hands if you dropped your forearms, if you took a twist, release. Shimmy your foot back to center. Tuck your back toes, reach your right leg to the sky, up and back, breathe in. And then cross your right foot to your left elbow. We're gonna take a fallen triangle. Right foot extends off your mat to the side. Left heel pivots flat, so your heel is down. Left arm to the sky. So kind of like a side plank with your leg extended. Take a breath in, lift your hips a little higher, and then exhale, lower down to a seat. 
You're going to bend your left knee, place it inside your right thigh. Reach both arms to the sky, big breath in. As you exhale, turn over your right leg and fold over your right leg. Let your head and your neck relax. We're going to flow here. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, left hand behind your low back, right arm to the sky. You can stay right here or as you inhale, press into your back hand, your right foot, your left knee, lift your hips, stretch. Exhale to lower back down. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, lean forward over your right leg. Let your head and neck go. Back up, breathe in. Exhale, left hand behind your low back. Again, feel free to stay or inhale, lifts. A little half mini wild thing. Exhale, lower. One more time, we'll hold, breathe in. Breathe out, fold over your leg. Two full rounds of breath here. You choose the depth. Back up with your arms, breathe in. Exhale, left hand behind you. Last time, inhale, lift your hips. Stay as you exhale. One more big breath in. Exhale, release yourself down. You're gonna to turn toward the top of your mat, extend your left leg behind you and find your way to downward facing dog. However you need to get there, transitions can always be a little funky. Big inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, make some noise, let it go. <sighs> Once more, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, bend your knees, look to your hands. Exhale, step or hop, top of your mat. Halfway lift, lengthen. Forward fold, release. Rise up, reach up, inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale to chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, eagle left, left arm below your right. Hands can find opposite shoulders or connect in front of you. Left thigh up and over your right. Squeeze your inner thighs, draw your left hip back and sit a little deeper into your hips. Try to engage your low belly, steady your eyes and breathe here for two full rounds of breath. Take just an inhale. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Left ankle on top of your right. Just let your head and neck go. Nod yes, breathe in. Shake it no, breathe it out. With or without your blocks, crawl your hands to your left. Lean your hips a little bit right. Big inhale. Exhale through center, take it to the other side. Hands right, hips left. Come back to center. Wait into your left foot. Fingertips can come a little bit forward. Right leg to the sky. Big breath in, standing splits. And then begin to open up for your half moon. So this time, right arm peels open, right hip peels open. Your right foot is active, reaching back as the crown of your head reaches forward. Find lots of space, lots of breath. Remember, it's okay to fall. Come right back. One more big inhale. Exhale, bend your front knee, release your hands, your right foot back, and then turn to the right for your wide-legged forward fold prostrata. Toes in, heels out, or feet hip distance, pardon me, parallel, lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold, definitely wider than hip distance. And then allow any little bit of movement, a sway, a bend. Explore how the back of your legs feel. Allow gravity to do some work here. We'll take three full rounds of breath. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, skandasana to your left. Turn your left toes out, bend your left knee. And you can be a little bit higher. You can be a little bit lower. Maybe hands to hearts, maybe another version. Deep, full breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, turn to the top of your mat for your lizard pose. Left foot shimmies out, your hands can stay flat. Back knee lifted for some movements. Or if you like, lower your back knee, add a twist, left hand to back foot. 
Or for me, I like to bring two blocks and lower my forearms down. Just go as far as your body allows. We'll spend five full rounds of breath here. Use each breath in to create space and each breath out to maybe open up or deepen or release. Two more. Come back to your hands if you're down or if you twisted. Palms flat, lift your back knee, send your left leg up and back, big breath in. Exhale, cross your left knee to your right elbow and then extend your foot for a fallen triangle. Right heel pivots flat, right arm reaches high. Take a breath in, lift your hips. Exhale, sit yourself all the way down. And this time you're gonna bend your right knee, place your foot inside your left thigh. Both arms to the sky as you breathe in. Lean over your left leg, belly to thigh as you breathe out. Just as deep as your body goes naturally, not forcing. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, right hand behind your low back. And you can stay right here, or as you inhale, press into your hand, your right knee, your left foot, lift, lengthen. Exhale, lower. One more time flowing, then we'll hold. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, over your left leg. Back up, breathe in. Exhale, right hand behind you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, over your left leg and hold. Take two full rounds of breath. Back up, breathe in, hands to the sky. Exhale, right hand behind you. Inhale, lift your hips. Stay as you exhale. One more big breath in. Exhale, release down. And then turn to the top of your mat, extend your right leg, make your way to a downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, sway a little bit side to side, and slowly lower to a child's pose. Hips to heels, forehead down. Take some time here to simply be. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your feet out wide, outside edges of your mat. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. And as you exhale, step or hop to a squat, malasana, heels in, toes out. So you're gonna sit low into a squat. If upright is more appropriate for you, that's totally cool. If you wanna sit on one or both of your blocks, bring the ground a little closer, that's fantastic too. Imagine hands to heart. See if you can press your thighs open with your legs. Lengthen your spine even more. Two more rounds of breath. Release your hands down. We're going to take it to a seat. So if you've got some blocks, you might remove them, scooch them out of the way. Extend your left leg straight out in front of you. Right foot comes outside your left knee or inside if that feels better for you. We're gonna take a seated twist, right hand behind you. Left arm to the sky, breathe in. Either hug your knee with your left arm or hook your left elbow outside your knee. Taller spine as you breathe in. Deeper twist as you breathe out. Slowly unwind, swap out your legs. We'll take it directly to the other side. Left foot comes outside your right thigh or knee or inside if that's better. Left hand behind you, try to sit up tall, right arm to the sky, breathe in. Either hug your knee on your exhale or hook your elbow and then twist. Imagine rotating your spine taller with each breath in and a slightly deeper twist with each breath out. And slowly release. Extend your legs. You can move all your stuff out to the side. We're gonna roll onto our backs. So as you're ready, 
Arms forward, engage your core, roll yourself down. When you get down there, hands to the ground, feet walk in, so your knees are just above your ankles. You might graze your heels with your fingertips. You might just kind of feel it in your body that your knees are stacked. Take a bridge pose, press through your feet, engage your glutes and lift your hips. Try to keep your head pretty still, chin right above sternum, palms can stay flat, elbows can press in, palms reaching kind of toward each other like robot arms, or if you like, interlace your fingers and shimmy your shoulders closer together. Whatever you've chosen, imagine drawing your knees forward, lengthen your spine, engage your glutes to stretch a little bit more through the front of your hips, breathe. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly release it down. Give yourself a little hug, knees to chest, a gentle rock side to side. Place your feet on the ground so your knees point up to the sky. Cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh for a figure four. And you can stay just like this if that feels like enough, or if you'd like, interlace your hands behind your left thigh or in front of your left shin and guide your legs a little closer for more sensation. Two more full rounds of breath. Gently release, uncross your legs, windshield wipers side to side, or take any other counter stretch, release it out. And then to the other side, as you feel ready, left ankle on top of your right thigh. Stay or hug everything into your chest. Try to stay active through your feet to protect your knees. Your muscles around your shin, calves are engaged. And then breathe into hips, low back, glutes, wherever you feel this. Two more rounds of breath. And slowly release. Same thing, little windshield wiper, little wiggle. You can stretch out your legs, shake them out. Last shape, we'll take a happy baby. Knees toward you, give yourself a little squeeze and then draw your knees outside your ribs, feet to the sky. Hands can hold behind your thighs, to your calves, ankles, feet, wherever you can reach, but keep your low back down, flat. Find one more big breath in and slowly let it go. Anything else you like before final Shavasana, please feel free to find it. If you've got the blocks, you might choose to bring your blocks underneath your thighs, a little bit of support there. And once you've found your position for Shavasana, no rush if you're not there yet, lift your heart and snuggle your shoulders down your back. Palms face up or hands wherever else they feel they need to go. Let go of any last sense of control physically. Let go of controlling your breath. Let it flow in and out on its own. Allow your thoughts to do what they do. Try not to judge or attach.
And you are always welcome to hang out here as long as you like. When you feel ready to move on, start with a deeper breath. And then some little movements, wiggles, stretches, however you like to wake up your physical body. Hug your knees into your chest. And turn to one side. Keep your eyes closed as you gently press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. When you've arrived in your seat, lengthen your spine. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. Just take a moment to check back in with your physical body, to notice your mind, your thoughts, and where they are right now. Bring your palms together in front of your heart and thank yourself for taking the time to be in your body, to move, to breathe. I thank you for sharing your energy with me, sharing your practice with me. We'll bow our heads together. Namaste. Have a lovely rest of the day and hopefully I'll see you soon.